South African politicians are belonging to South Africans themselves that foreigners are taking their jobs. Some South Africans agree with them and some they don't agree with that. Currently, there's still retrenchment going on in South Africa in various sectors like companies, manufacturers, even the teachers have been retrenched. There is now a shortage of teachers because the government can't able to pay that, those teachers. And also the company, they are retrenching the, the workers because there is no way they can pay those workers. There is no money to pay those workers. The manufacturers are retrenching everywhere in South African company. They are retrenching their workers. There is no way they can, they, they can be able to, come, to accommodate those workers. So they are getting retrenched each and every time. And with that, South Africans themselves they are losing jobs within those companies. And yet they are saying that foreigners are taking their jobs. No, that is not foreigner who take your jobs. It's the companies who retreat you. That's why you're, you're jobless. For those who, are, who have been retreated. But still, politicians are convincing South Africans that foreigners are taking their job. But some South Africans can agree with, with them, but some, they can't agree with them. It's either way. Now, Marima have proven that there's no way foreigners are taking South African jobs. Guys, watch this video and see what Marema telling us about foreigner taking South African jobs. Watch out. I'll be back. You are saying these people are coming to take jobs. Which jobs are you talking about? Because there are no jobs that South Africans are accepting, which are a reflection of slavery. These people are being enslaved here in South Africa. And when you say they've taken South African South Africans' jobs. You are saying South Africans must be enslaved. Mm. These are not jobs. These are slaves' jobs, which South Africans don't want to work abnormal hours, to work under difficult conditions, and don't get paid, and don't have rights. So, no South African wants that. At the level where it's a required skill, South Africa makes it very clear that we must give preference to South Africans who've got the similar uh, requirement. Unless we don't have mm. artisans, then we go and fetch uh, from other countries. We're going to chase these people out of South Africa. Tomorrow, the whole plumbing system and sewer system of South Africa will go into a blockade and will not be in a position to help ourselves because we don't have artisans. Yeah. The, the whole uh, of South Africa will go into uh, electricity crisis because you chased away uh, 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 the, the electricians. But we do so, have South African so, plumbers and uh, South African electricians. But they are not sub, sub enough. They, dem they can't meet the demand. It's like saying we produce chicken in South Africa, therefore we can't take chicken from South Africa. Uh -uh. We don't produce to the capacity of the demand of South Africa. So all I'm saying is where a job is given, a South African with the uh, same qualifications should be given a preference. We cannot prefer a, a person who's not a South African to the one that is going to pay tax mm -hmm. in South Africa. And that is not what we are dealing with. I want you to present any stats to me that says if we deport these uh, foreigners, so many jobs are going to be uh, uh, created. Look at what's happening in education. We are retrenching educators. Not because foreigners have taken uh, 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 the positions of educators. We, we don't have the political will to sustain those jobs. Mm. As a result, they're going to be lost. Not because of any foreigner. The steel factories have closed down. Not because of any uh, uh, foreigner. The Infrastructure in South Africa is decaying because there is no leadership that wants to look after that. It's not a foreigner. Manufacturing, which used to be the biggest contributor to our GDP, it is actually being replaced by finance, which doesn't create a lot of job uh, opportunities.
for our people. But you know that if you're going to manufacturing, you are going to create a lot of jobs. Mm. A factory, I mean, manufacturing used to account for uh, thousands of jobs, more than 150,000 jobs uh, in, manuf in, in manufacturing alone. Today, you can't count more than 80,000 mm. of jobs in manufacturing. So you can't say the foreigners have actually, the jobs are still the 150,000 of them, of them, the foreigners have taken them. No, the factories have closed down. And jobs were lost, mm. not because foreigners came in, mm. but because the, uh, the, the financial sector has overtaken manufacturing. And financial sector does not want to deal with industrialization. Anything long term, the financial sector does not want to uh, support it. Why? Because they deal with hot money. They deal with what short term investment yeah. and they don't want anything to do with long-term investment. South African, there you go. Marema has said it all. He has said it all. So, who is it to blame as foreigners are taking the, your jobs? Foreigners are not taking your jobs. It's only the retrenchment of companies and things like that which is going on in the countries and foreigners are not taking their job. In fact, foreigners used to come with their own skills. So, South Africans, it's for you to judge if really foreigners are taking your jobs Oh, the politicians, they are convincing you that foreigners are taking jobs. It's for you to judge. Thank you very much for watching.